In today's funny story joke, we delve into the life of a man named Henry, whose final words have been hailed as one of the most uproarious jokes of all time. Brace yourself for a tale that combines love, laughter, and a perfectly timed punchline that will leave you laughing for eternity. Get ready to meet Henry, a man who turned the art of humor into a legacy and gave his town something to laugh about for generations. In a small, picturesque town, there lived a man named Henry and his notoriously difficult wife, Mary. Henry, a man with an infamous sense of humor, had endured Mary's sharp tongue and selfish nature for years. Everyone in town knew Mary for her high-pitched nagging and endless demands, while Henry was known for his resilience and his ability to find humor in the most challenging situations. Henry's life had been one of quiet endurance and subtle jokes. He had learned early on that the best way to cope with Mary's constant complaints and unreasonable demands was to laugh. He was the kind of man who could find a silver lining in the darkest clouds, and he had become something of a local legend for his ability to turn even the most aggravating circumstances into a punchline. As fate would have it, Henry fell gravely ill. His once vibrant and playful spirit was now confined to a bed in their modest home. The illness had taken a toll on him, but his sense of humor remained intact. He often thought about the best way to leave a final mark on the world. One last joke that would make everyone remember him fondly. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden glow through the bedroom window, Mary barged into the room. Her face was set in a permanent scowl, and she carried a cup of tea which she unceremoniously plunked on the bedside table. Here's your tea, Henry. Drink it while it's hot, and don't spill it on the sheets again, you hear? She barked, her voice cutting through the peaceful evening like a rusty saw. Henry looked up at her, a weak smile playing on his lips. Thank you, Mary. Can you sit with me for a moment? I have something important to discuss with you. Mary sighed dramatically, rolling her eyes. All right, but make it quick. I've got things to do. She snapped, tapping her foot impatiently. Henry chuckled softly, a sound that seemed to irritate Mary even more. Of course, my dear, it won't take long. What is it? Henry! Henry took a deep breath, his frail hand reaching for hers. Mary, I've been thinking about what will happen after I'm gone. I want to make sure you're taken care of. Mary's eyes widened slightly, surprised by his concern. It was so unlike Henry to be serious. Oh, Henry, that's considerate of you, she said, her voice softening for the briefest of moments. Henry's smile widened, and a twinkle of mischief appeared in his eyes. Yes, well, it's important. I have one last request, Mary. Promise me if I die, you will marry Charlie. Mary's face twisted in confusion. Charlie, your best friend, but you hate him. She exclaimed, her voice rising in pitch. Henry's eyes sparkled with mischief as he looked into Mary's eyes. That's why I want him to suffer. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.